like a mighty Russian wind. We want to dwell under the shadow of your wings. We want to see you like a mighty Russian wind. Oh, we want to dwell under the shadow of your wings. God, we want to see you like a mighty Russian wind. We want to dwell under the shadow of your wings. Lord, we want to see you like a mighty Russian wind. Yeah. We want to dwell under the shadow of your wings. So blow, blow, blow like a mighty wind. Spirit of victory, cover us with your wings, oh, oh. Blow, blow, blow like a mighty wind Spirit of victory Cover us with your wings
Like a mighty rushing wind, we want to dwell under the shadow of Your wings. We want to see You like a mighty rushing wind. We want to dwell under the shadow of Your wings. Oh Lord, Lord, we want to see You. Like a mighty rushing wind over our land, Lord, we want to dwell under the shadow of Your wings. God, we want to see You like a mighty rushing wind. We want to dwell under the shadow of Your wings.
on to see you like a mighty rushing wind. We want to dwell under the shadow of your wings. We want to see you like a mighty rushing wind. To dwell under the shadow of your wings, oh Lord, Lord, we want to see you like a mighty rushing wind over our land, Lord. We want to dwell under the shadow of your wings, God. We want to see you like a mighty rushing wind. Yeah, yeah. We want to dwell under the shadow of your wings So blow, blow, blow like a mighty wind Spirit of victory Cover us with your wings oh, yeah. Blow, blow, blow like a mighty wind oh, Spirit of victory Father, we are grateful. Let's begin to worship the Lord. Let's exalt his holy name. Let's magnify our King, our God, the creator of the ends of the universe. Father, we are grateful to you. We exalt you, our living King. We say, Daddy, did he thou exalted? Thank you and thank you and thank you. Thank you, our most gracious, most generous. Father, we worship you. We adore you, O God. We say, Father, there is no one like unto you. We worship you, our King, our God, our Lord, our Savior. We bless your holy name, O God. We thank you for who you are, for what you are doing in our lives, what you are doing right now, what you have done, and what you are yet to do. Father, there is no one like unto you, ancient of days. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Let us magnify the Lord. Let us give him praise. Let us exalt his holy name forever. O oh Lord, your name to be praised, your name to be lifted, your name to be exalted. O oh God, we worship you, majesty on high. We give you all the glory. We magnify you, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us lift him high. Let us exalt his name. Let us magnify him. Let us praise his holy name. Jesus, we give you all the praise. We worship you, ancient of this Mali and Tayagabuska. Jesus, we give you all the praise. We worship you, Lord. We magnify you. Father, Lord, we say there is no one like unto you, no one to be compared unto you, no one, oh God, Father, we worship you. We lift you high, we lift you high, we lift you high. Maleke tundo kobo shikanda yadaboso. Blessed and blessed be your holy name, mighty King. Ancient of days is your name. La kreketo yodo bo suzunta kambre legede. Lebro ko suzunta tande kebu shikanda yagadaba. Lord Jesus, we praise you. Let us celebrate him, let us magnify him, let us praise his holy name. Forever, oh Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Lord Almighty, we give you all all the praise. Akatondo kobo shikanda yada basuzukata. Lord Almighty, we praise 
praise you. We praise you. We praise you. Hallowed be your name. Makin katunde kebu rubata yada buta. Lekreke sukunto ye gebu shikanda yagada basuzuto. Father Lord, we praise your living name. Oh God, we magnify you. Let's appreciate him. Let's thank him for who he is. Let's bless the name of the Lord for his manifold blessings, manifold presence, manifold loving kindness. Let us exalt his holy name, oh God. Father, we say thank you. We give you praise, oh Lord. We give you praise, mighty Father. We give you praise. We celebrate you, our living God, the creator of the ends of the universe. We say thank you, Almighty Father. El Shaddai, li kakatonde ke debo suzo, e lipo tu kaborobo sukande yekete, Jehovah, there is no one like unto you, no one to be compared unto our Father. Le bataya gabo shekento kobre leke siza, li kakanto kobo shikanda ya gaba suzo, no one like unto you, ancient of days. You are the God that rided upon the heavens of heaven. You are the God that rided li kebo sukanda yabo shakata, no one to be compared unto you, O God. We want we worship you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Masukanda Yabosha. Thank you and thank you and thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Almighty Father. The Bible says it is a good thing to give thanks unto Him, according to Psalm 92 and verse 1. And so we give Him praises. We give Him honor. We exalt His holy name. Only Him is worthy of all our praises in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Tonight is going to be short. I hope so. And I'm really, really looking forward to that. But I know for one thing that the Lord is here to bless you. He is said to bless you. He is said to, to, to lift you high. He is said, he is said to, to give you um, a lift a lift that you will never for, forget, a lift that will turn your life around, a lift that will turn your entire generation around in the mighty name of Jesus. And so by the help of the Lord, this month has been great. The Lord has been speaking to us on diverse areas of, uh, of, of glory. Hallelujah. Diverse area, areas of glory. Hallelujah. The Lord himself is good to us. He's good. And I tell you right now, he is very good. He's awesome. He's powerful. He's mighty. And so we return all the glory to him. Today, by the, by the grace of God, by the grace of God, he's, he, he was looking into, oh Lord, exalt my home. O oh Lord, exalt my home. And God said that this month is the month of awakening of my glory. Awakening of my glory. Awakening of my glory. We have dealt with glory stealers, glory killers, and glory destroyers. By the help of the Holy Spirit, we have dealt with in the area of my responsibility to my glory. Tonight, we want to speak to the Lord. Oh Lord, exalt my horn. Oh, I'm in my horn. Oh Lord, exalt my horn. Oh Lord, exalt my horn. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, exalt my horn. Oh Lord, exalt my horn. And by the grace of God tonight, we're going to be praying, but I want you to be very, very fervent in the spirit. The Bible says that the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. I want you to take note that the Bible says of the righteous. It didn't just stop there. When he said the effectual fervent prayer, it didn't just stop there. He said of the righteous. Tonight, is there any area of your life that you know that you have sinned against him, that you know that heaven will not reckon with your voice? 
Why don't you speak to him tonight and say, Father, have mercy. I want you to exalt my horn. And I'm asking mighty Father, have mercy. Forgive me, my dear Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy upon me. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. We have moved to womanhood. We have moved to womanhood by the help of the Lord. Amen. And so, the power of a praying woman does not depend on what she can do with her own hands, but in the mighty hand of God. We have come to move the hand of God, that mighty hand of God, in our favor. Hallelujah. In our favor. And tonight, in the name of Jesus, that mighty hand of God will be moved in your favor. It will, it will be moved in my favor in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord. So, oh Lord, exalt my horn. Oh Lord, exalt my horn. When we talk about horn, we're talking about royal dignity. We're talking about royalty. We're talking about dignity. We're talking about uh, fierceness is a symbolism of authority, of power, of greatness, of victory, of dominion. That's what Horn, Horn is talking about. Horn is talking about might. He's talking about dominion. He's talking about greatness, victory. Victory, victory. And I want to let you know that one of the properties of the horn is that it is a scatterer. It scatters, horn scatters, horn scatters. That is to say horn, they are the chief means of attack. And as much as they are the chief means of attack, they are also the chief means of defense. Hallelujah. So it can be for defense, and it can also be for attack. Hallelujah. The Bible talks about the horns of righteousness and also horns of wickedness. Different kinds of horns. The horns of wickedness belongs to the enemy. And the enemy uses it a lot. To attack. To scatter. But I'm glad to let you know that. God is backing you up today. As long as you can call upon him tonight and say, oh Lord, exalt my horn. When you see two rams that are fighting, two goats that are fighting, or animals that have horns, when you see them fighting, one of them prevail above the other. Why? Because one is able to scatter the other. One is able to prevail over the other. And so if you are able to call upon God and say, I cannot do this by my strength, oh God, exalt my horn. He will do it. He will fight your battles for you. Exalt my horn. Exalt my authority. Oh Lord, exalt my dominion. Oh Lord, exalt me, exalt my power. That is to say, let me, let me, let me have victory over my enemy. Let me have dominion. It might be over, over poverty. It might be over whatever the enemy might be. You are asking God, Lord, showcase me. Let me shine. Oh Lord, exalt my horn. Hallelujah. And when the horn of some when somebody's horn is exalted, the person will, will automatically shine because you are in victory. The only victors shine. You are not shining. That means something is wrong. Victors shine. Victors shine. Victors are in power. They are in power. And so tonight, you want to speak to the Lord. We are not going to talk too much, but we, we, are, all, we are going to pray to the Lord. The Bible said, according to Zechariah chapter 1, starting from verse 17 to verse 20, 
He talks about uh, Zechariah, who saw a vision whereby the children of Israel were being defeated. And then he went to make inquiries of the Lord. And the Lord spoke to him. The Lord revealed to him that he saw some horns and he said, these horns, these horns are the ones that are attacking Jerusalem, Judah, and Israel. Jerusalem, Judah, and Israel. These are the tr troublers of your Ju Jerusalem, Judah, and Israel. They came and they came to not allow them to, to grow, to expand. They came and they came to limit them. They came and they came to, to put a put a, a, a to put a barrier over them. They came and they came to scatter the, the work of their hands. They came and they will not allow them to grow. They came and they will not allow them to have voice. These are the horns that is disturbing, that is limiting the growth, that is not allowing them to be who God wants them to be. But glory be to God. The situation was turned around in the favor of God's children. And that is what we want to do tonight. That the Lord will exalt our home. That in the name of Jesus, wherever we have been defeated, and wherever the glory of God has not been able to showcase himself, wherever, whatever, in any area, in whatever capacity, that our head has been bowed in shame. That the Lord will exalt our horn and the table will turn around to the glory of his name. If you, if you, are, if you agree with me, please shout hallelujah, type hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So when the horn came to, to, to destroy that, to scatter, you know, to destroy Jerusalem, Judah, and Israel, these are covenant things. Jerusalem, the city of God presence of God, Judah, praise, worship, Israel, covenant of God. And if these three are attacked, what else is left for any man? When the presence of God is no longer there, what else is there? What else is left for the person? When praise is no longer there, the Bible says he inhabits the praises of his people. Where will God inhabit if there's no longer praise? Then the covenant will be of no effect, Israel. Mm -hmm. And so tonight you want to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. You want to say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every horn that is haunting my life, tonight they are destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus, every horn that is haunting my life, tonight they are destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus, every horn that is haunting my life, tonight they are destroyed. In the name of Jesus, every horn that is haunting my life, tonight they are destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus, I repeat, every horn that is haunting your life, that is haunting my life, Tonight they are destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Every horn that is haunting me, haunting you, in the mighty name of Jesus, such horns are destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Masutende kebu sukanda yabusha. Rege debo suzuta kabra leke te yege debo shikanta yadava. Riba katondo kobre leke suzuka tande kebu shetu. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every horn likanto kobre leke te as Sign to, to, to a sign against me in the name of Jesus. It is destroyed. It is destroyed. It is destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Masutondo kobreleke tu kabosha lebra kataya da boso sonto kobreleke te in the mighty name of Jesus. E kanto kobreleke suzu reba kataya da boso zunta eli kataya da boso tondo kobreleke ndo yebosha in the mighty name of of Jesus, ma reke ke 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 tento reke te ye gede bosuzunta ya gadaha 
In the mighty name of Jesus. Maruba kato kopreleke suzuka tayagadaba. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Psalm 92 and verse 10. Psalm 92 and verse 10. It says, as I read, it says, it says in verse, verse I'm reading the NLT's version. He says, but you have made me as strong as a wild ox. You have anointed me with the finest oil. Hallelujah. But when you come to King James Version, he says, but my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Hallelujah. Fresh oil. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. My horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. Begin to pray. In the name of Jesus, let my head be stronger than the head of my enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, Baba, exalt my horn, exalt my horn, exalt my horn, exalt my horn, like the horn of a unicorn, exalt my horn. In the mighty name of Jesus, mighty king, exalt my horn. In the mighty name of Jesus, exalt my horn like the horn of a unicorn. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, exalt my horn like the horn of a unicorn. In the mighty name of Jesus, Maleke tondo kobroleke suzokoto, e kanka kaka kanta yada bosuzu, in kenkoto yede bosuzu katande yede bosuzu, in the mighty name of Jesus, Oh God, I pray for everyone that is under the sound of my voice. Lord, exalt their horn in the mighty name of Jesus. Malika tande kebo shikanda yakaha rekete kete 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 yede bososo ilabata yada basuzo kotonde kebo shikanda in the mighty name of Jesus. Malika tondo kopreleke suzuta libra kata yada basuzunto kopreleke ke iko toko broleke sukanda yabashata regede bosuzunto kopreleke tu yagadabaha in the mighty name of Jesus. Baba, exalt my horn like the horn of a unicorn. Exalt my horn like the horn of a unicorn. In the mighty name of Jesus. Malekete ye debo suzu. Rekete ye gedebo suzuta. Ekete kete kete kete. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, almighty father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Every evil horn around my life, tonight in the name of Jesus, they are destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus, they are destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus, Masutanda Yakaba, horns of the wicked against my life, they are destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus, Masutanda Kabo Shetende, Ebrakata Yada Basuzuka Tanda, Malika Tanda Yedebo Suzuka Tande Kedebo Shekete, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord, that shall exalt my horn as the horn of the unicorn. You are going to say, Father, enable me in life. Enable me in life. Enable me in life. Horn speaks of enabling power. Father, enable me in the mighty name of Jesus. Makato yedebo suzu. Ebrakata yada basuzu tayada. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ankato kobrele keto koborobo suzu katanda ya. In the gedebo suzu takabo shekete yedeboha. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ando robo sokoto koto koto. Rekete ye gedebo suzu ta. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every horn of the wicked, every one, every horn of the wicked, let it be destroyed right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, exalt my horn as the horn of the unicorn in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is truly good. Is truly good. He is truly good. Hallelujah. Amen. You are going to speak to the Lord. Everything that is suppressing me, that is not allowing me to rise above where I am, in the name of Jesus, I destroy such 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Every siege over my life and destiny is hereby cancelled in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever says I will not go forward in the name of Jesus, I destroy that thing in the name of Jesus. Whosoever, whatsoever, I destroy in the mighty name of Jesus. And the in the mighty name of Jesus. And the in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone and whosoever that is sitting, Likanta upon my destiny I unseat them by the blood of Jesus by the power in the name of Jesus I unseat them in the mighty name of Jesus thank you everlasting father we give you all the praise we worship you mighty God in the mighty in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I believe that you were blessed tonight. I believe that you are blessed. And so we are going to pray quickly. We're going to be praying for all our, our um, new, new participants in the house. We pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Libra has Satan de Kebu Shikite, that the Lord Himself will touch you in the mighty name of Jesus. Your life will not be ordinary again in the mighty name of Jesus. You are fortified in Jesus' mighty name. The hand of the Lord is upon you for good, uh, and it shall be well with you because you have come to join us tonight to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. The hand of the Lord will be upon you for good uh, in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Amen. Congratulations. Thank you for joining us to pray. And I hope that you remain with dignity of womanhood. I also want to pray for those who are pregnant among us. And I pray for them in the mighty name of Jesus, that God himself will see them through this season in the mighty name of Jesus. No pain in the mighty name of Jesus. No sorrow in the mighty name of Jesus. God Almighty, you will be with them in the name of Jesus. Lord, wherever they go, whatever they do, Lord Almighty, you'll be with them in the mighty name of Jesus. On the day of delivery, Father, be in attendance in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be well with them, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Right now we are praying and we pray for those who are looking up to God for the fruit of the womb. We decree and declare in the mighty name of Jesus that the hand of the Lord himself will help them in the mighty name of Jesus. We come against any form of barrenness among us in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask in the name of Jesus. Lipa suta da kaba shekente ye ke pusu zota lige debo suzokata that in four weeks time mighty father give them Lord Almighty something to laugh about in the mighty name of Jesus and in Lord Almighty in nine months time we pray in the mighty name of Jesus let them carry Lord Almighty their living babies in their hands in the mighty name of Jesus let it be well with them in Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. We pray for everyone that are single among us in the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah will find you. Jehovah will connect you. Jehovah will give you a marital destiny that is colorful in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray and I declare and I declare that your own husband will show up and it will not be delayed. Laughter will come in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. I pray for people who are looking for job uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, or maybe it's a business that you are even seeking God's face for. Whatever the case may be, you are looking for a job, a business. I pray in the name of Jesus that God will make a way for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, uh, let favor speak uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let divine idea comfort uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the means to start the business come in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the Lord pave the way in the name of Jesus. 
Congratulations. That's all I can say in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray now for as many that are uh, celebrating their birthdays or maybe their wedding anniversary. We pray for them in the mighty name of Jesus, that heaven in the name of Jesus will reckon with this new year in the mighty name of Jesus. This new year, is it birthday? Is it wedding anniversary? Heaven will reckon with this new year in the mighty name of Jesus. Heaven will reckon with it and give you laughter. Heaven will reckon with it, with it and give you peace. Heaven will reckon with it and give you what money can buy and what money cannot buy. In the mighty name of Jesus, it shall be well with you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Almighty Father. We give you all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So right now, we want to, we move on to wifehood. We move on to wifehood, wifehood, wifehood. A happy marriage looks to the future, not the past. And the place of prayer guarantees the future that you desire. And I want you to know that, listen, it is in the place of prayer. It is in the pl place of prayer. What is prayer? Prayer is communicating with God and God communicating with you. There's so many instructions in the place of prayer. There's so many things that God will open your eyes to in the place of prayer. That's why I love prayer so much. I love prayer. I love to pray because it's a lot, it's deep and God helps us. He communicates with us through prayer. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. So tonight, as I was preparing to come, it occurred to me that there are different kinds of marriages. Even in the Bible. And I want to ask you, what kind of marriage do you have? What kind of marriage do you have? What kind of marriage do you have? I just want to explain just a little bit, but it's deep. And I want you to go and do your own research by yourself. But let me ask you, what kind of marriage do you have? I've seen relationships in the Bible. Sarah and Abraham. Relationship between Sarah and Abraham. What did, they, what did I see there? Relationship of a master, my Lord, my Lord relationship. Where we celebrate masterhood. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. Where the man is the main player in the relationship. Way exalted, even when he's messing up. Still being exalted. Relationship. And there's something that we also need to understand in, the, in that kind of relationship, that even after we see Abraham, we see Abraham, Abraham, Abraham all the time as projected. But may I tell you this, that after the death of Sarah, did you see where God spoke to Abraham again? I, I didn't see it. After the death of Sarah, Isaac married. After Isaac married, then Abraham went to marry Keturah. And during the time that he married Keturah, I did not hear one time that God spoke to him again. So the time that he was alive with God was the time that that woman was with him. That was a relationship. What kind of marriage do you have? 
What kind of marriage do you have? Is it the marriage that your presence matters in the relationship of your husband and God? Positively shaping the life of that man. And I've seen relationship of Esther and the king. That's another kind of relationship where you dare not come out when you are not invited. That's another kind of relationship. Where you have to use time to live your life. That's another kind of relationship. Except that God help you. I saw another relationship with Solomon. If you read the songs of Solomon, you see my love my this, my that. Very romantic relationship. Very romantic. Very romantic relationship. In all of these marriages, there is always the strength and the weakness because no marriage is perfect. But I'm here to tell you that when you study all these marriages, you want to adopt the strength of all these marriages Adopt it, buy into it, you know, invest into it and bring it to your home and let it enrich your home. That's the beauty of studying them. That's the beauty of studying them. And I pray, if you are with me, type I'm with you. I'll, I'll type I'm with you. Type I'm with you. And so you want to pray tonight that the Lord himself will give you a good pattern for your marriage in the name of Jesus. A good pattern. Baba, give me a good pattern for my marriage. A good pattern. A good pattern. A good pattern. Let the Lord be the architect of my marriage. In the name of Jesus, Father, let be the architect of my marriage. Be the architect of my home. In the mighty name of Jesus, help me, mighty Father. And then you now begin to pray. In the name of Jesus, I covet the strength, the strength of the, of the relationship between Abraham and Sarah. In the name of Jesus, I covet the strength of the relationship between Isaac and Rebecca, in the name of Jesus, I covet the, the, the strength in the relationship, uh, in the marriage covenant uh, of Jacob. And which one now will you, do you want? Uh, Jacob and, 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 and uh, Rachel, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, if you look at the story in the, the, the story of, of Leah, well, she well, might not be well favored that much, uh, but if you want to covet, maybe you want to covet uh, the children that the Lord himself now use. Judah. She was the one that gave back to Judah. She was the one, that, yes, she was the one that gave back to Judah that eventually became the lineage of Jesus. And if you want to covet that one, that's fine. And say, Father, I covet the strength. Hey, remember, it's the strength we're coveting. I covet the strength of the relationship between Jacob and Leah in the mighty name of Jesus. Liba kanto kubu shikanda yada basuzo. Ikataka broloko toko bosuzo. Ikanda kabo shitanda ya kabo suzu katanda ya gabaha. Ilegede bososon toko bo shikanda ya gabanda ya. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. What about even Zachariah and, and his wife, Elizabeth? There is a strength, the strength of their love that they both of them did not give up on each other. That both of them, they still they were still together serving God fervently even in their old age, serving God fervently, that the whole of Israel still looking up to them, being a priest in the house of God. Yes, we cannot be tired and we will never be tired of serving God, of knowing God, of serving God together. In the mighty name of Jesus, you can go around and travel and journey into the, into the relationship of Mary and Joseph. Of Joseph allowing Mary to carry the mandate of heaven. It's not everybody that can marry, marry Mary. It's not everybody. It's not any man that can marry Mary. He can't do it has to be a Joseph from the house of David. Malika Tando Kobu Shikata. Can you covet it? Maloko Tonde Kebu Susanta Yagaba. All this one, don't go too far. Stop serving God. Sit down. Don't say, don't serve God. Are you the only one in church? Why is your pastor always using you? They are using you there. Likankata Yagabushka. All those things is because you, you need to go back to the Bible and covet that anointing and covet that grace masutanda kabo shekete all this one the, the husband is not is uh, not interested in the spiritual spirituality of the home is only the wife that is struggling and struggling ah you can look at the, some relationships look at even joseph was the one that carried david jesus oh yeah carried david jesus joseph was the one that was nursing the pregnant woman they went, they went from there, from uh, the Bethlehem, Judah. Uh, they, they went to for counting. They went, you know, he was the one walking. Who, how many men can be walking with, with a pregnant woman that is, uh, that is even due at that time? Patience. See the patience. See the love. And he was not afraid and he was not intimidated and he was not... He was not ashamed to so stand with a man, a woman you didn't sleep with, yet she's carrying. They say, which make pregnancy? Say only goes pregnancy during his time. And they were walking, a multitude of people will be in that conference, that conference of that census, that's whatever they are doing. He did hey, he didn't do it secretly. He had the mind, he wanted to do it, but he didn't do it. Ah, a relationship whereby Holy Ghost will be, will be in action. We'll be restraining the wife, restraining the husband not to do evil to each other. What kind of relationship do you have? Tonight, the Lord, in the name of Jesus, we touch your home, touch your marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus, breathe upon it. In the name of Jesus, thank you, everlasting Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. It's a very deep, 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 deep um, scripture or analysis that I want you to please pay attention to and draw strength from these marriages. Draw strength, draw strength, draw strength in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. By the grace of God, this is Dignity of Womanhood, a ministry that is reaching out to women at a global level. By the grace of God, God has spoken great things about us. Uh, this year is our year of a new dawn with fresh fire. The Lord has been so 5 p.m. right now, but when the time changes, we change it to, uh, it's still going to be 5 p.m., but um. Uh, I mean, it's going to change from 5 p.m. to 5.30. Uh, uh, um, I mean, from 5 p.m. to 4 p.m. Sorry, from 5 p.m. to 4 p.m. I just didn't, I couldn't get over the, the, <laughs> um, the, the whatever the, the tech posted on, 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 on the screen for me. We meet globally 
um, to pray on Tuesday at 5.30 p.m. Um, as wives, as women, wives, and mothers. And um, we maintain our fellowship with God and on all our various uh, platforms, Monday through Fridays. And we enjoy breakfast meeting and dinner with Jesus across the globe on the weekend. This weekend on Saturday, by the grace of God, I'm inviting every one of you to join me as you bring your children to our platform on Zoom when we shall be praying for all our children, call, uh, praying for all our children this Saturday. And uh, the theme is, I shall start well and finish strong. It's always, every year we come together, we pray globally. Please join us, let your children join us. I need your children. I really don't need you, but I need your children to be online with us and pray and pray and pray and pray. Uh, so therefore, this Saturday, by God's grace, there will not be signs and wonder. It's going to be that time for, uh, it's going, instead of signs and wonders, we're going to have a uh, back to school program, which is I shall start well and finish strong. And we're going to have it early, uh, at the early hours of the day, not at 3 p.m. Eastern time. By the grace of God, I'm glad to announce to you that our uh, anniversary is coming up on September 16, 2023, um, when we shall be turning nine years uh, by the grace of God. We are in North America, Africa, Canada, Haiti, UK, and we are still growing by God's grace. If you are in South Africa, please connect with me Let's talk. Let's let's chat uh, because something is coming up for South Africa very, very soon. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. And if you are interested in joining us, it is zero regrets by joining us. We love you and we welcome you to the fold. Thank you so much. Perhaps you are listening to me right now and you are here to give your life to Jesus. I just want you to know that is the best choice ever. I made that choice well over as a matter of fact. Uh, uh, well over 20 years ago, uh, of course, 20, 20 years, it's 30 years ago by the grace of God. And it has been an amazing journey with God, an amazing journey with God. And so I want to encourage you to please do the same because you want to have this amazing experience, it starts with surrendering your life to Jesus. And so if you will, please say this simple prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come to you tonight. Please forgive me. Have mercy on me. Write my name in the book of life. Beginning from tonight, I choose to become one of yours. Amen. Congratulations for saying that prayer. And as you have said it, so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Receive the forgiveness of God and receive strength to walk with the Lord without fear from now on in Jesus' name. Amen. Three things I encourage people to do. The first one is to find a Bible-believing, Bible-living church and be part of them. The second one is to make sure that you have have a Bible that you are reading. Make sure you study it. The last one is make sure that your prayer life is not watery. Let it be very powerful and fireful. The Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. It is now time for us to pray as mothers, as mothers, as you will agree with me. Many of them have started school some of them are just starting today. Some of them have started before. And some of them, they are yet to start. But I know that it is the season that we, everyone is working on back to school, either at uh, kindergarten level, elementary level, middle school level, high school level, college level, or maybe your children are not in school anymore. They have graduated, whatever the case may be, you can still pray for them. 
You are listening to me right now. Maybe your job is to pray for your grandchildren, whatever the case may be. So therefore, please pray in the name of Jesus. As they are returning back to school, the Lord will go ahead of them in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will go ahead of all our children in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will go ahead of all our children in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will go ahead of all our children in the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead of them, O God, in the name of Jesus. Baba, go ahead of them. Oluwa, go ahead of them in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray tonight uh, that as they return to school, you will go ahead of them in the mighty name of Jesus. You will watch their steps. Uh, you will uphold them, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. And no evil shall befall them in the mighty name of Jesus. We speak life uh, over our children in the mighty name of Jesus. And we declare and we declare in the mighty name of Jesus that they will do well. That this year, 20, this school year, 2023, 2024, it shall be a glorious year for all our children, for us, their mothers, for their fathers, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. We give you all the praise. We worship you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord. Thank you, almighty God. Right now, it is time for personal supplication. I need you to begin to speak to the Lord. Begin to speak to the Lord. Mali baraba shitin delegedebu. Reboko to pebo robo suzun to kova. Ma ke 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 te yege debo suzu. In bakata yada bo suzun to kobrele ke te. In to kobo soton de kebo shikanda yada ba. Ida bo sukanda yada bo suzu koto yote bo suzota. The Bible says he watered the hills from the from his chambers. And the earth is satisfied with the fruits of thy works. Lord, we ask. Concerning any situation, any 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 prayer request, uh, Father, water the hills from your chambers uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, and let us be satisfied with the fruit of your work uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lima suto kobreleke tu yaraba, ekankata yarabo suzuto kobreleke tu kabosha. In the mighty name of Jesus, Psalm one o two and verse one, he says, "Hear my prayer, O Lord, uh, and let my cry come unto thee." My God and my Father, hear every prayer that is being offered to you. Let every cry come to you, mighty Father. Oh God, let answers come down. Let testimonies be released. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. By mercy, answer. In the mighty name of Jesus. Open the leave gate in the mighty name of Jesus. Zuta yada bo suzunto. Embro koto yege debo suzukata. Ida kabo suzoko toko breleke tukata. In the mighty name of Jesus. Forever, O Lord, your word is settled. Malikanda yaga bo shakata. Nligende gede. Settle every matter. Settle every case. Settle every situation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Baba, we give you praise. We worship you, Lord. We adore your holy name. Thank you and thank you for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord. Please share your testimony with us. The Lord bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Thank you for joining us. And tonight shall we please share surely. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Shall we please declare the closing church together? Strength and dignity are my clothing, and my position is strong and secure, and I smile at the future, knowing that I and my family are prepared. Proverbs 31 verse 25, Amplified Version, and I pray this will be your testimony, and this will be my testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. Love you so much. And I hope to see your children on Saturday. Please check our flyer and you will see the, 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 the flyer on our social media handles. Thank you and God bless you. That's 
Shit.